Sean? Huh? Yes, I'm Sean. Sean. I've been looking for you for so long. Who are you? Sean, it's, it's me. I'm your mom. Father, what's going on? What's happening? Sean, Daddy's... Daddy's gone, but... But I'm here. Mommy's here now. What's going on? Father? Father! Sean! I don't know you! Go open away! Open the door! Father! Father, help me! There's someone here! Help me! Please, Sean. I'm your mother. To talk to me. Just open the door! Father? Father, help me! She's trying to take me! Father? Father, help me! Sean. S923, recall code Cirrus. Fascinating, but disappointing. The child's responses were not at all what I anticipated. He's a prototype, you understand. We're only just now beginning to explore the effects of extreme emotional stimuli. Please try and keep an open mind. I recognize that you are emotional, and that your journey here has been fraught with challenges. Let's start anew. I am Father. Welcome to the Institute. Father. <laughs> That's your name? Your title? Father is my unofficial title. It's what I've come to mean to the people of the Institute. Just as... as you are a parent to your son. To Sean. I'll make this very simple. Where is my son? He's here. In the Institute. Closer than you think. But I need you to realize that this... situation is far more complicated than you could have imagined. You have traveled very far, and suffered a great deal to find your son. Well, your tenacity and dedication have been rewarded. It's good to finally meet you. After all this time, it's me. I am Sean. I am... your son. It's really you. After all this time... Yes. It's true. In the vault, you had no concept of the passage of time. You were released from your pod and went searching for the son... you'd lost. But then you learned that your son was no longer an infant, but a ten-year-old boy. You believed that ten years had passed. Is it really so hard to accept that it was not ten, but sixty years? That is the reality, and here I am. Raised by the Institute, and now its leader. They stole you. Kidnapped you. It wasn't right. Right, wrong, irrelevant. It was necessary. The Institute believed humanity's future depended on it. At that time, the year 2227, the Institute had made great strides in synth production. But it was never enough. Scientific curiosity and the goal of perfection drove them ever onward. What they wanted was the perfect machine. So they followed the best example thus far. The human being, walking talking, fully articulate, capable of anything. I think I see where this is going. Then perhaps you already understand why it was necessary for the Institute to acquire me. The Institute endeavored to create synthetic organics. The most logical starting point, of course, was human DNA. Plenty of that was available, of course. But it had all become corrupted. In this... wasteland, radiation affected everyone. 
even in their attempts to shield themselves from the world above, members of the Institute had been exposed. Another source was necessary. But then the Institute found me, after discovering records from Vault 111. An infant, frozen in time, protected from the radiation-induced mutations that had crept into every other human cell in the Commonwealth. I was exactly what they needed. And so it was my DNA that became the basis of the synthetic organics used to create every human-like synth you see today. I am their father. Through science, we are family. The synths, me, and you. Sixty years. So much time. Wasted. I know. I know you must have questions. Please. Anything I can do to help you understand. Your father. He never got to see you grow up. Yes. What happened to him was... I've gone over the records of the incident, of course. It seems what happened to him was an unfortunate bit of collateral damage. For many years, I never questioned who my parents were. I accepted my situation, and that was that. With old age comes regret, and asking what if more often. But what matters now is that you and I have a chance to begin again. What else can I say to ease your mind? So, you're in charge of the Institute? I am the acting director, yes. I spent decades working to reach this point. It's a responsibility I take very seriously. The Institute. It's important. It really is humanity's best hope for the future, no matter what those above ground might think of us. It doesn't matter what they think. What matters is what you do. I'm glad we see it the same way. Ultimately, the Commonwealth has nothing to fear from us. Whatever you've seen or heard, I know I can convince you of that. Just give me time. What else can I say to ease your mind? I think I've heard enough for now. Very well. The Institute is on the verge of some important breakthroughs. Your presence would be appreciated as we approach them. I've been a part of something amazing here. I've helped to build a life for myself and the people of the Institute. And now, after all these years, you have an opportunity to help with that. Doesn't that intrigue you? Isn't that what you want? Yes, that's what I want. I know. I know you've been through so much. I'm pleased to see it has not impaired your judgment. Forgive me. I'd assume that after everything I'm sure you've seen above ground, you would be more than a bit biased against us. There is much to be done. You'll need time to acclimate yourself, a chance to become acquainted with our procedures. I'll do whatever it takes. It's worth it. I am glad to hear that. The Institute is now your home, as much as it is mine. Please take some time, get to know it. Meet the people you'll be working with. You'll want to introduce yourself to the Division Heads. Dr. Fillmore in Facilities. Dr. Ao in SRB. Dr. Holdren in Bioscience. And finally, Dr. Lee in Advanced Systems. They've all been notified of your arrival, of course. Meet them. And then we'll discuss what comes next. 